in this video we're going to be looking at how to add fractions where the bottom number is different. Um, the bottom number is actually called the denominator. So in other words, if we had something like a half plus three eighths. All right. And what we need to know is the total of a half plus three eighths. And the way it's usually given in a lot of the test or the exam papers will be uh, pizzas. Okay, so in other words, we've got half a pizza. And we're going to add that to three eighths of a pizza. So I'm going to divide that up into uh, eighths. And this bit here will be three of them, so it's three eighths, and this bit here is a half. Okay, and we want to know how much has been eaten altogether. Okay, so the way to do that, the most easy way to do that, is to look at this half and look at this three eighths and say, well, actually, in order for me to add those two together, it would be a lot simpler for me to have this type of pizza, or this piece of pizza, divided into eight, eight pieces. So if I did that, I would be in a position then where I could add all of these eighths together and that will give me my answer. So in other words, this side is exactly the same as saying four eighths because if I divide the pizza up into eights, I can count one, two, three, four. So I've got four eights on this side, and on this side I've got three eights. Well, if I add those two together, I've got four plus three, which is seven. So I've eaten, or we've both eaten together, seven eights of a pizza. Okay, so this whole idea is to make sure that these two numbers at the bottom, is called, which is called a denominator, is the same. And the way I've done that is that rather than drawing diagrams, which you can draw diagrams if you want to, and it does make sometimes the maths a little bit clearer and a little bit easier to understand, so please do draw diagrams, they, they are very helpful. Um, from a mathematics point of view, I've changed that half to four eighths. And the way I've done that is I've used the principle of equivalent fractions. And if you have a look in uh, some of the other videos, it will show you how we can change a fraction to a fraction that is equivalent to it, but has a different numerator, which is the number on the top, and denominator, which is the number on the bottom. Just very briefly, what we've done is we've said, well, actually, that half at the top if I multiply the bottom by 4, I must multiply the top by 4. So, in other words, I've now got 4 at the top, because 1 times 4 is, is 4, and then I've got 2 times 4 at the bottom, which is 8. So the direct equivalent fraction of 1 half is 4 over 8. And the principle, the overriding principle of adding fractions together is to make sure these numbers are exactly the same at the bottom. So that will allow me then to add the two top numbers, the numerator, and produce my final calculation. If you look at the next video, it will then take this principle a little bit further and we'll start talking about where numbers are very, very different to each other. And then the video after that will also look at whole numbers as well.